Ever wondered why we celebrate Christmas on December 25th, even though the exact date of Jesus' birth is unknown? Well, the answer takes us back to the ancient Roman calendar and the winter solstice. This shortest day and longest night of the year around December 21st was a time of celebration for many pagan cultures who believed the sun was reborn after the solstice. They anticipated the days growing longer and warmer. One of the most celebrated festivals in Rome was Saturnalia, a week-long event from December 17th to December 23rd, honouring Saturn, the god of agriculture and time. Imagine a city-wide party marked with feasting, gift-giving and a reversal of social norms. Even slaves were freed for the duration of the festival. Another popular celebration was Dies Natalis Solis Invicti, or the birthday of the unconquered sun, held on December 25th, dedicated to Sol Invictus, the sun god. When Christianity started to spread throughout the Roman Empire, it encountered these deeply ingrained pagan festivals. Some Christians sought to replace them with a Christian celebration, while others preferred to avoid them completely. By the 4th century, the church made a pivotal decision. Christmas would be celebrated on December 25th. This was no random choice. It was a strategic move that allowed Christians to celebrate their faith without drawing too much attention or facing persecution. And it provided an opportunity to convert pagans by showing them that the true sun and light of the world was Jesus Christ. So, the date of Christmas was more of a strategic move, allowing Christians to celebrate their faith without attracting undue attention, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we delve deeper into the origins of Christmas, we'll discover how this celebration incorporated elements from various cultures and traditions, and how it evolved over time to become the holiday we know and love today. But Christmas isn't just a Christian version of these Roman festivals. It also includes elements from other cultures. Let's take a journey to the chilly lands of Northern Europe, where the Germanic and Celtic peoples celebrated Yule, a midwinter festival. Now, Yule was a time of joy and camaraderie. Imagine a large log, the Yule log, set aflame, casting a warm and merry glow on all in its presence. It represented the old year, burning away, and the promise of a fresh new year, ready to rise from the ashes. Evergreen trees standing sturdy and green, even in the harshest winters, were decorated as a symbol of life and renewal amidst the biting cold. Gifts were exchanged too, marking the spirit of generosity and goodwill among the people. When the Christians came upon these traditions, they didn't just dismiss them. Instead, they adopted these customs and gave them a fresh spin, infusing them with Christian symbolism. The Yule Log, once a symbol of the cyclical nature of years, became a beacon of Christ's light and warmth in the world. The evergreen trees, previously a symbol of hope and renewal, were now seen as a representation of Christ's eternal life and victory over death. And the gifts, they took on a deeper meaning. They became a reminder of the ultimate gift, God's gift of his son to humanity, and of the gifts that the wise men brought to the baby Jesus. So you see, Christmas is more than just a single story. It's a beautiful tapestry woven from many threads, each carrying a story from a different culture a different tradition. Each tradition added its unique flavour, creating a celebration that was rich, diverse and inclusive. So the next time you gather around a Christmas tree or exchange gifts, remember the origins of these traditions. Remember the Yule log, the evergreen trees and the spirit of Yule. They remind us that Christmas is a celebration that transcends borders and cultures. So Christmas is a fusion of various traditions, each adding their own unique flavour to the celebration. But the story of Christmas doesn't end there. It has continued to evolve over time. It's crucial to note that Christmas, like any other tradition, hasn't been static. Historical events, political changes and cultural shifts have all left their mark on this cherished holiday. For example, the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century had a significant impact on the way we celebrate Christmas today. It introduced new technologies and materials that made it easier and more affordable to produce and distribute Christmas cards, decorations and gifts. In the 20th century, globalisation and mass media have also played a role in the spread and standardisation of Christmas traditions. Movies, music and advertisements have popularised certain images and symbols such as Santa Claus, reindeers and Christmas trees that are now recognised and celebrated worldwide. Thus, 
Christmas as we know it today is a product of centuries of evolution shaped by various cultures and traditions from around the world. 